and welcome to this week's track guide. Um, as you can see, it's Tuesday. I'm already down in P42. Um, <laughs> uh, it's crane party this week. In case you guys uh, weren't aware, this is uh, another one of the um, tracks made famous from uh, the actual DCL season last year. Um, so I know, I'll try and give you a quick fly through. Um, no promises it's going to be any good because talking and flying at the same time are not my speciality. Um, but uh, this is kind of a sort of slowed down version of... Um, <laughs> Alright, that was terrible. Of uh, what the, the pros have been doing. Um, this is a pretty technical track. I mean, it's very, very tough to to consistently go fast around this track. Um, but I mean, hopefully a slow run through, I think might kind of help out um, if we start off with that. Then I'll go through a couple of drills um, that I've kind of spotted on my way around. Um, and then, yeah, we'll finish up. If I can't manage a, a fast lap for you guys, what I will do is um, I will just put up my replay. So there you go. That was a that was a kind of quick, not really quick at all. That was a really slow fly through there um, of this track. So I think what I've done is oh no, that's okay. I thought what I'd done is actually put myself up against all the fast guys, but never mind. Uh, just Min J this week. So we start off coming through here, and you'll notice straight off the bat what makes this a really tough track, even to start, is this big yellow box here which gets right in the way of the first gate. So as you're coming off of these blocks, what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of really try and clip that close. You've gotta have a lot of kind of blind faith um, that you're gonna, you kind of almost have to visualize where that gate is behind it. Um, so again, I, I know we always, I've said this all the time, muscle memory, but this here is a real, test of faith I think more so than muscle memory you just kind of have to go through there and just hit it and hope um, coming up over the top I don't mind a little bit of roll over here mainly because it's easier to kind of pitch back and then over the top um, I do see some guys kind of go uh, a lot flatter through there but personally I like a bit of roll because I can flick it back and then kind of S the other way this section coming off down here is pretty tough to get right. Um, another blind faith uh, kind of section of the track coming through this gate. Um, probably the first drill uh, that I could really think of coming around here is just kind of split S'ing this gate, really. Um, but not big, swoopy freestyle split S's, just kind of very simple um, little movements around here. Because this is a really fine-tuned sort of... Uh, I mean, you've, you've really got to be on it to come through there quickly. And also, what you want to do is come through it backwards. So another little trick you can do with these gates is just learn to not do that. That was, <laughs> that was awful. Um, it's kind of just fly through gates like this, but fly through them backwards. Um, because that is... I mean, we saw it on the Apex webcast where um, we were speaking with... Apex Technical Director Glenn Bales. Um, so much speed is made up from just preempting things of being facing in the right direction before you've even finished a maneuver um, for for line, you know, ready to line yourself up with the next one. So another little drill there um, that you can sort of work on. This crane is the most technical section of the track without a doubt um, that's why <laughs> that's why the track is named after it it's a very difficult section of the track so so you come up through this little kicker box now the fastest times through this track seem to be a combination of rolls so a big left roll and then you just carry on flowing around to the left so it's it's a combination of two left hand rolls really or you know if you can make it into a single one even better um, there's a significant kind of upwards movement there that you'll see as well as you come out of that sort of first roll and into the second one you want to really 
punch it and try and clip it as close as you can. I've seen guys like Minjay, again, it's a blind faith thing, just, you know, coming up here. You can't really see where you're going. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about this bit. I know I just hit it. It's very unlikely that you're going to hit that little box um, that normally a little person would be sat in controlling the crane. Um, it's unlikely that you're going to hit it. It's not very well lit up, but I, I doubt you're going to hit that if you're coming here, f you know, through here, sort of full chat. Um, but yeah, try and clip it close to this tiny little, um, I say tidy, just close to this little right angle here uh, in the corner. If you can come through really close to there, you're normally pretty good for coming around the other side. Um, without, without the rolls, here's what it looks like. Um, so you're coming through here, up, you're going through this section, around this section, and then up over here. Um, now you can do that, that's pretty simple, but the rolls are just what gives it the flow. Um, and of course, as we all know, flow state is a big thing, not only in freestyle, but in racing as well. Um, that's where the time really is. Coming along here, you really want to get as close as you can to these two sections, so that when you drop over the edge here, um, you've got less distance to travel, basically. So you can kind of, again preempt the the next gate as you're coming along here you want to be turning before you've hit the end line this up shoot through and then turn right um uh sorry left even god don't go don't turn right well you can turn right it doesn't really matter um but do it as you enter this second block so that you're coming out backwards and immediately able to get straight on the throttle around here again um coming out of this block you're already over to the left so it's not quite a as big of a kind of leap of faith to go around that yellow block um but yeah i mean it's it's a tough track to get fast quickly um but you will get it fast eventually it's really this is a grindy track it's a case of just grinding out that time um and just doing your absolute best not to get frustrated when you do hit things because you're going to hit things. There's a lot of stuff in very close proximity. Um, but you'll get it. Um, you know, don't be disheartened if you if you crash into the things, uh, especially these. Uh, you'll, you'll kind of prang these a, a fair few times. Again, you can turn, you can turn right out of there. Um, generally, I'll play it by ear. If I'm coming in hot on one on one side and it makes more sense to me gives me more space to turn the opposite direction i will um but turning right out of there you do risk going into the the top of the building there on the on the right hand side so only do that really if you've got a lot of space i generally recommend a, a left hand turn out of there <clears throat> so there you go that was that um this is this uh, i'm going to try for a, a fast time we'll give it a couple of goes if i can't get it i can't get it um, i will just show you my replay because I am tight for time right now. So immediately slow off the bat. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a real test of my abilities as a... <laughs> as a as a sim pilot. Oh man. Alright, I'm struggling with the first gate. Come back to me when I've got a decent lap. I mean, actually, you know what? That wasn't too far off my personal best at the moment. So we're going to stick with that one. <laughs> Bit scrappy, but I mean, you get the idea. So, um, yeah. 
there you go. That was this week's kind of track guide. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these. I've, I'm really, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun putting them together. So I hope you are. I hope it's helping out some of you guys that are kind of maybe mid table, want to want to move your way up towards the the top 100 like myself. Um, really, really keen to to keep pushing DCL the game and and building the community and and just generally kind of like engaging with you guys. So. Uh, had some great feedback on the last one, some good good comments and stuff. So as always, uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, chuck your chuck your queries and, and questions below. Um, if you want to rep your team, if you want shout outs, whatever, like just drop them down below. I know Stray's been uh, quite quite keen to comment on a few things recently. So uh, yeah, it's good chatting with you guys and uh, yeah, keep repping. Don't lose heart. Don't lose faith. I know it's a difficult time for for everyone right now, but uh, we're we're pulling through. DCLs. Uh, DCL's got you back, so, you know, um, yeah, sign up, Apex Community, we're on Facebook, um, don't forget to follow the guys on Instagram as well, uh, you know, my DMs are always open, and uh, yeah, I guess there's only one thing left to say, fly safe, fly fast, and fly Apex, <laughs> see you guys in the next one.